here at the New York Stock Exchange, the epicenter of the global financial markets. What role does the NYSE play into helping harness sustainability and innovative ideas when it comes to space exploration? Well, big role, and I'm glad to be here because today this is the first or really the inaugural space forum. And you know, the, the future of space holds great promise uh, from a national security standpoint, medical standpoint, you name it. So it's it's really good to see the uh, the exchange leading the way uh, on the, for the future of space commerce. And what are the biggest trends right now we are seeing in the space sector? Well, a lot in national security, uh, 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 space big time. Uh, but uh, for our company, we address uh, uh, some of the health challenges that NASA has, has really uncovered. It's, it's pretty interesting, NASA has done a lot of work at the International Space Station for decades, a lot of research, uh, animal models, but also they've taken samples from 59 astronauts who've been to space and they found uh, mitochondria dysfunction, which explains a number of the health issues that these astronauts have experienced. And how do you go about tackling such a big issue like that? It is a big issue, and we think, and NASA thinks, uh, that uh, uh, the difference in gravity, what we call microgravity, as well as this continuous exposure to low-level radiation has caused it. But what we do, we have a, a unique technique to replenish the mitochondria, known as uh, mitochondria organelle transplantation. And we've been working very closely with the VA on this for over a year now. Uh, and, and, and at the Haley VA Medical Center in Tampa, which is really the premier neuroscience center uh, for the VA. And uh, good data, good research. And uh, I, I can remember getting a phone call uh, from a doctor, a friend of mine. He said, man, have you seen what's in cell today? So no, I don't wake up in the morning going to look at what and, and, and see what's in cell. But the great, it was a very preeminent uh, publication. And, and they published a paper with NASA talking about this health challenge. And so we're, we're excited about the, uh, hopefully the possibility to work with NASA and others to address this for the future of space travel. And speaking of the future of space travel, how can finance and investment contribute to sustainable space exploration? Uh, a lot, because so much of the ingenuity and the innovativeness that we need are with these little companies in America, small businesses. And, and, and so how do we, how do we uh, unleash that uh, in, uh, ingenuity and harness it and bring it to the public sector. That's where the exchange comes in. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Great to be with you.